Hello once again, time for another game review and this time I'm looking at a Neo Geo AES game. The game is Alpha Mission 2. There's the big box for it. So let's take a look at the fact file. Alpha Mission 2, also known as ASO 2 Last Guardian in Japan, was released in 1991 in the USA and Japan and the publisher was SNK, developer is also SNK. Price I paid was a mere £8.37, which has got to be a record low for a Neo Geo AES game. Current going rate on eBay is £80 plus, so needless to say, if I do sell this game, I'm going to make quite a bit of profit on it. Whether I sell it or not depends on what the game's like, so let's take a look at it. As usual, let's take a look at the box and the instructions first of all. And the box, of course, is massive and barely fits in the frame of the camera. So it's got the Alpha Mission 2 logo, top right corner, it's got a pretty bland space battle scene artwork on the front there. As you can see this is a 47 meg cartridge for one or two players, and there's the Neo Geo logo there as well. This is the US version by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So it's got the dog tag as it's described at the top there, it's got the logo on the spine and all the usual bump as well. And going on to the back we've got... The bloody war continues in the year 2525 and we've got some screenshots from the game typical vertical scrolling shooter type screenshots and a bit of blurb about the game as well the lunar nightmare of a bloody 200 year space war was thought to be over in the original alpha mission but it's not basically is the long and short of that description bit of information about your fighter and what you're going to have to do 47 megs of awesome power launch you and a friend into your choice of four difficulty levels of heavy firepower action moving on to the instruction booklet as you can see it's got a, a nicer than the front cover of the box graphic on there of the spaceship and uh, let's go straight inside we've got the blurb which is pretty much the same as on the back cover we've got this sort of big contents page and at the bottom there you can see it says armored scrum object that's what the aso stands for in the japanese version of the game not quite sure what an armored scrum object is so then you've got to uh, game contents how to save and load if you've got a memory card controls of which there's two types information about the game screen and the difficulty setting and we've got a list of the different items this one's particularly interesting, I think, in these power points. So you've got these E's to regain four gauges of energy, full gauge of energy, and then an upside down E, which decreases energy by eight gauges. Well, surely an upside down E is an E. So that's a bit peculiar. There are lots of other options there, which are pickups within the game, of course. And then it tells you about how to use your armor to attack. You can attack with the armor, power up the armor by collecting power ups and you can also get armor at the end of each stage by buying it with the things that you pick up within the game there's some nice pictures of some spaceships there information about all the different types of armor that you can pick up or deploy and then they've got the different stages details of which seems to be only three more nice black and white pictures and more nice black and white pictures this is some of the characters in the game so you've got that's your spaceship there's some enemy spaceships detailed as well usual sort of stuff and at the end it tells you about the precautions regarding the memory card one last thing to look at before we start looking at the game and that's the cartridge of course the monster that is a Neo Geo cartridge there it is with the sticker on with a quite nice picture and the Alpha Mission 2 logo After the traditional Neo Geo booting up screen and the warning, quick bit of music and a picture of a spaceship and then the title screen comes up as you can see there is ASO Last Guardian 2, that's because I'm playing an American cartridge on a Japanese system and then it goes straight into a demo of the game which as you can see is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up, typical sort of graphics and so on, let's get on with the game and uh, move straight onto the actual gameplay so you can choose your difficulty level that's the only option when you should press the start button I'll go with normal level you can choose a firing type which I'll just go with type A there is a, a vague difference between them but nothing too major and then you blast off straight into the first level and as is tra traditional in a lot of these type of games the first thing you do is get a lot of power ups 
and you really do need those power-ups, you need to collect them early on because you don't get many later on. As you can see, shooting them multiple times changes the uh, letter on them. S is speed, L is lasers, and M is missiles. You can also shoot things to pick up various power-ups off the ground. The big K there, I'm not quite sure what that means, I missed it anyway. And the G means gold, which if you collect gold, that gives you money to spend on extra weaponry at the end of the levels, if you get that far. You can also pick up multiple parts of uh, a weapon, which I've now collected a side, whatever that is. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, you use the C button to access the menu for the uh, power-ups, the main power-ups. So far pretty straightforward stuff, lots of metallic sort of backgrounds and generic looking spaceships, there's nothing very spectacular going on with the graphics and things, in all honesty. Oh, I've just got shot, that was silly of me, I should have used a power up. So to use a power up you press the C button, you can see there's a menu there where you've got multiple things to select and that gives you some kind of added weaponry which has got a limited amount of energy, as you can see on the bar on the left hand side things then drop down the screen with an E on which you can pick up to get the extra energy. Unfortunately all my speed and uh, weaponry power-ups have gone because I lost a life which is a bit stupid on me really. There's a home power-up, there's a big sort of spaceship thing, it's like a mid-level boss scrolling around which isn't too difficult to get rid of as long as you avoid those which I didn't do very well. Not a very good go through the game so far. Probably the most annoying thing about the game is that there's no auto fire so you have to keep hammering the fire button frequently throughout the game. Oh, there goes another life. This is turning into a complete disaster. Really need a speed power up. And I missed it again. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. That's game over. That was utter rubbish. Okay, let's continue, you get three continues as standard, I made a complete mess of that. Okay, I've got lots of different uh, extra weaponry to bolt onto my ship now though, which is good because coming up soon is the end of level boss and I'm going to need that extra weaponry, so let's quickly Go for the fire power up. So the boss appears and it's a typical sort of monster boss that floats around and shoots at you. I'm just saving my weaponry for when it comes back on the screen. Hopefully this will help me get rid of it quite quickly. The good thing about this fire power up is that firstly it's quite powerful. Secondly, you can hold the fire button down and launch a stream of fire. Nearly run out though now. Oh. Must be nearly dead, surely. Kind of floats around. There we go, that's it, I've got rid of it. So after a bit of a disastrous loss of the, the first credit, I've got to the end of the first level. Off a blast to a planet and then there's this intermission where you can buy a weapon. I don't know what the 82% means there. I've got 60 gold which should allow me to buy another weapon power up of some description. Apparently not. Got 60, that's 60 there, we won't let me buy that, okay. Maybe I've already got it, that's why. Let's go for that one that's 50 then. So I've got three different power-ups and I'm gonna need them on this second level, I can tell you that. So we go to the surface of the moon and this level is the uh, obligatory for any kind of scroll and shoot them up. It's the obligatory massive spaceship level. So I've managed to power up my basic ship again now. Pretty soon, large parts of a very large spaceship are going to appear. There we go, there's the first bit of it. 
and that is just the nose of the thing. There's the sides. Fire some weapon. Oh, there goes another life. Let's use this opportunity to get one of these parrots active. And again, that's that's this is just the front of the thing. This spaceship is massive and takes up the entire level. The whole idea of the level is to get rid of this massive mothership. I'm not sure what this uh, power up weapon is that I've chosen this time around. It doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. Maybe it's just a shield. Handily, there's places you can sit where the bullets don't get you. Certainly in the earlier stages of this onslaught against this big ship. That's got some bits of it pretty quickly. There goes the front of it. As I said, that's just the beginning. Okay, some kind of homing missiles. Which don't seem to want to work very often. They could be coming quite useful. Quite sure what's happening here. I'm gonna shoot something. Oh, that's a nuke. That'd be a useful thing to have on my side, I suppose. Yeah, there's another bit of the spaceship wiped out, which is good. May as well use some of those homing missiles as well. Thus far, it's not going too badly with the assault on the big spaceship. It does take ages and it's very prone to giving you a finger ache because of the amount of firing you have to do because of that lack of auto fire. It's actually not that difficult as long as you just watch where the bullets are firing from. There we go, there's another bit of it wiped out. We move on to the third part of it. So as I've mentioned, the graphics are pretty generic space shoot em up graphics. There's nothing notable about them at all, really. That I can think of. Um, sounds alright. It's the usual spaceship per uh, blasting sounds and explosions. Music's pretty decent. It's by far not the best Neo Geo game in terms of graphical power or impressiveness. It's mostly just a, a pretty generic shoot em up just, that just happens to be released on the Neo Geo. And you just blast away endlessly until you probably either die of being shot or die of boredom. Oh. Right, let's get another power up quickly. This is a pretty basic sort of double fire laser power up. Some kind of engine blast is coming out there. Okay. So, I'm not sure what's happening here now. Oh, we're moving up to the back of the ship. That must be the end of the level, I guess. Really sure what's happening here, okay. Ah, okay, so there's waves of these blue ships coming towards me, which if they hit you, I assume they're gonna kill you. That didn't seem too terrible. Let's uh, use the next power up as well, just in case I need it. So we're going back down the ship again now. Ah. Okay, so I'm now going inside the spaceship. I don't think I even lost a life throughout the whole of that. That was uh, mightily impressive on my part. And slightly unexpected. So I'm now inside the spaceship, I assume. And it's uh, again not particularly exciting looking. The trick with picking up these named uh, power ups is to get three of the same type in a row which I was not successful in doing there. I 
Okay, that's another shot, that's good. That's two parts of the shot. What we got over here? Nuke, I don't want nuke. I want another shot. So it's more of the same graphics wise, lots of uh, steely looking greens and greys. Something quite interesting going on in the background there. Ooh. Oh, now we've got a bit of a thing. Oh, there's a shot. That's good. I need that. Oh, I just got shot just as I picked that power up. It's really annoying. A bit of a something like Xevious there with the things going down the screen that you can't actually destroy. Let's get that to shot power up, whatever that does. Oh, ooh, that was lucky. Lucky I powered up, otherwise I'd be dead there. So on it goes, somewhat boringly. Another power up to be picked up there. Oh, that's nasty. These guys are going to cause me some grief. I can see that already. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so I've got my name in. Good to do that. I think I've got one more credit left as well. Made pretty good progress through that. This second stage. This is still the second stage, by the way because I haven't got to the end of stage opportunity to buy more stuff I'm not expecting it to last too much longer with the amount of bullets flying around here now oh. there's a shield, I'll take that for sure and the nuke sounds good as well I don't really want either of those at the moment. I don't know what that is. I'm just grab that. I don't know what black is. Oh, there's the nuke. That's what I really wanted. The first time around. I'm kind of getting a bit bored now. So, um, I've only got one life left, thankfully. To summarise the game, it's a generic scrolling shoot em up. There's nothing more really to say about it. It's not great, um, what it was for me was cheap and if I ever want to sell it as I mentioned I'll make a nice profit on it. I'll probably keep it just because it's so difficult to get anything for the Neo Geo other than fighting games that's a reasonable price. So I'll probably keep it. This sounds like the end of level boss coming up now doesn't it? Which is not very impressive looking, oh my god that's a lot of bullets. Yeah, I'm not going to last too much longer here. Oh my lord. So I've got to stay in front of this thing. And that's it, that'll be game over. So you get the idea, it's a scrolling shooter up, it's not very interesting. Uh, but it is a Neo Geo game, so I'll probably keep it, at least until, maybe till the game's worth even more than it is already. You can, by the way, save to the memory card, which I've got put in there. That'll allow you to restart on the stage I've just died on. Uh, but frankly, I haven't got the time or inclination to do that. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Two. One. Zero.